the road build book permissions is uh, like the normal NAV permissions, except there's a lot of extra features on top of them. We can create roles by ranges, so instead of a single update, you can actually have a large range of updates. You can also use the source code analysis that we do for recordings and actually add additional permission based on that one. And then we can build roles that actually match individual roles groups if necessary. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this one. And um, if I go look at my roles in here, we can create a new one in here. There's really two things that are used for a role in here. One is uh, the recordings, of course, but another part is the role build definition, and that's what I'm going to look at. So uh, right now, I want to do a super CRM user in here. Um, so there'll be full access to uh, contacts. management in here. So I use my role builder for that one and contact management in NAV is uh, from objects around 5,000 up to 5,199 in here. So one of the big differences is I can actually make type ranges in here. I can also type objects that actually don't exist in the database. So I don't have any problems typing 5,000 in here um, because it will actually do that one. As I go out and change the permission, I'll give full permission for insert, modify, and delete out here. And I can see the abbreviated string here shows me that one. As I go back and update my role, I'll see that I get 70 permissions in here. Basically, every table within my range is being added to my role in here. And if any table is added in the future, every time I publish, if it goes inside that range, it will actually be added down here. Another thing that is possible with role builder permission is actually to use the source code analysis. And normally, if you have inserted or modified to a table, you should have access to read all the associated tables, being table relations or flow fields and so on. And we can do the same in here, actually. So if I go in here and uh, I don't know why this one shows up like this one in here. But I'll go in here and say I want to add related permissions in here. It basically means for these tables in that range, I'll go ahead and add related permissions in here. So if I now go and update my role, we can see instead of the 70 permission, I get 155 permissions in here. And that's all these extra read permissions for tables in the standard A and B range, so like customer, vendor, and so on. All those things are required if you want to create a contact, you have table relations to those tables and you need to read permission in here. That makes a very easy way of giving, for example, the whole custom area range. So every time you add a new uh, object in here, uh, you could actually go and have um, those ones added to the list also. If I wanted to do something else, I could also go in and create a role that had access to everything except maybe a small range of it. So let's go back and create a new super role for human resource or super role with no human resource access in here. Super data role with no human resource. So I could go in here to my role builder permission and say I want it from one to five one nine nine. And I needed uh, full access in that range. And I could also go and add all the tables from above that one. So it would be 5300 all the way to 99 million in here. And again, I would get full permission in here. If I go back uh, and update this role, I now have a role that has all permissions uh, to table data in NME, except for that range uh, around 5,200 where the human resource module is. It can also be used for, of course, the other payroll tables that will be in a higher range in here. But I can see in here I have nothing uh, in the 5,200 range up there. 
So that's a, a nice way of getting rid of ranges also to have almost super users, except maybe a few tables. We can also use the role build of permission to reduce permission in here. And if I actually go in here and look at a purchase document receipt function in here, we have a recording in here. And if we take a look at that uh, recording out here, we can see there is a modify uh, and a read permission on the item table down here. We can actually reduce that, um, or this one is a role permission, so that's not the recording permissions in here. If we look at the recording, I'll be able to see in here there is um, read and this one a little wider here so we can actually see it. There actually is a modified permission on the item table. When looking at modifiers, it's really not possible to identify if you need indirect or direct permission because it's part of the code in here. But what we have done with this one, we have used the role builder permission in here. So on the item table, say, I actually want to set the permission for indirect in here. And we used a field out here called override permission. It basically means whatever permissions that will be given from recordings, we're going to reduce it down to this permission down here. So that actually is a way to control something to take away permissions um, that would normally been given by the recording in here. That's another use of the role builder permission. We can also set up roles and we have created several role groups in here. And uh, those role groups can actually be created as individual roles in here also. So if I create a new one in here, I'll have a, a new role. This one will be a role, role group, uh, and then it will be a finance manager, for example. I can go into what we call details in here. Behind each role is actually a lot of different things in here. And one of the things is we can actually put a role group ID in here. And I can go down here and select my finance manager and say, I want this role to contain all the permissions from the finance manager in here. If I now go back and use this function here to update on the action that is advanced down here to update all roles, it will actually go through and calculate all these ones in here. And I find my uh, role group down here. I'll see that that one actually has a lot of permissions in here, 3,336 permission. That's based on all the things that was in that finance manager role group in here. So that's another use for um, the more advanced features in here for actually uh, when you are building roles with the role builder permissions in here. Again, it's all based on summarizing all of them in 